Hardwood. Original hardwood sill. Not hard enough for that, not at all. <laughs> yeah. The floor's got to be level through, so no pressure. No pressure, not like last time. Well, uh, it's all gone south again as usual. Day three. Day three, isn't it? Yeah. Day three. Today is going to be slabbing day and maybe some brickwork day. So we had a, had a few, few little uh, trips to make. We had to go to Ross Bonds, pick up some very expensive uh, jab light. 28 quid for a sheet of 100 mil. That hurt. Can you imagine if they did 125s? No. So we just needed that because with all that, there's just not going to be enough. Uh, we had to nip back home to get our wellies because we forgot. Luckily we didn't get too far before we were meant to wellies. Then we, to, <clears throat> then we had to nip to the spa to get my bacon roll, but now we're ready. So, this is coming out first, which is um, going in the skip. That, um, I've got to check the floor, because the, the, there's no, not going to be a door there anymore. They, they, don't want a door, they don't want a door still, so we've got dim, timber doors inside. So the, 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 the floor's got to be level through, so no pressure. No pressure, not like last time. Mm. Yesterday or Sunday, decided they want it three courses lower, so we're going for ten uh, seven courses now instead of ten. Um, it's fine for us. Yeah, so we this out, bring, uh, give it a good whacker in, bring the floor level up, ready for concrete, all the usual gubbins, and get it concreted this afternoon. Aye. Got a ton of ballast down there ready to go. And uh, the the shed. about three quarters of a ton of uh, sand in the van. Yeah, we've got a lot of sand, so we've got plenty. We're going to have plenty of lime in this one. And we've also stocked up on the on the ties because we were very short. This uh, this uh, this would have been the last of them. This little uh, porch. So, yep, you know the battle plan. Let's get started. Ready? I like it. That was hard. So it's all just going straight in the skip? Yeah, straight in the skip. Right, well, See, that's, that's out of the security. Once they're in the door frame, you can't lift them. So you can't just lift the doors out. You can lift it from there. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting hold of it. This one's got nothing to get hold of. I could have helped you, but you're making me hold the camera. There we go. Right, you ditch that camera. And you take them for me. I'll start getting these beads up. Again, they, they've done their research, it was, it was near an old castle and it was a, a viking area and, and we, we were there for 48 hours and it was amazing how much they found. You know, just this one field. So, yeah. The video when I knew you were coming on. It was like fun, a lot of fun. What happened to your pop career? <laughs> well, I think career is a little bit generous, actually. <laughs> and I'm not, I, I'm not surprised that you hadn't sort of come across me before in the 80s. Basically, it was one of those things I dabbled in. It wasn't terribly successful. And um, great fun. I had two singles out. But that video was actually not a proper video. I was doing the Wide Awake Club at the time. And we didn't have a video and they wanted to show it. So I went with it. Someone got to 63, which, which in the UK is considered a hit, as you probably know. You Absolutely. get in the top 70. <laughs> we have a saying on my fans of the 80s show, right? Uh, for songs that should have done much better than they did, we always say, sometimes we just didn't get it right. I could bring it out again, couldn't I? My career could go off in a whole different direction. Mm, maybe not a good idea. Yeah, but uh, it's such good fun. And all the ones I've done, the next one putting up is also up in Glasgow. It's Del Keith and it's um, up, in, yeah, up in Glasgow. And then I'm doing another one in Network. And um, as I say, it's such good fun. And I've done lots of them with hundreds and hundreds of dogs. And I've never, ever 
see them, not get them. Really? It's like a dog party. You got a dog Gary? I have little Chili Davis. So I think I've got to bring him to Network. Dad just getting that piece of uh, timber knocked the back of it so we can get our floor levels done properly because you can see here we've done our measuring and we need to put 65mm on for it to be level with the floor. The timber just takes it right up. So I think Dad's either going to go see if Neil's got any spare timber or if not he's going to have a really quick stop to Fairwoods and grab some. So at least this time we know where the floor is so I'm not screeding this time. Knock on wood. Yeah, it pays to check. Yeah. And the paranoid after last time now. So that's the plan at least. Um, I think while well, that goes to Fairwood, then I'll start getting some more stuff gathered around. But um, there you go, there's a quick update, so we'll catch you in a minute. Timber quivers in the face of that multi tool. It was built in. That's why it wouldn't put just pop out. Look, built into the pickle. That must be the original house sill. Hardwood. Original hardwood sill. Not hard enough for that multi tool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we can get our floor level. Yes. Properly now. Yeah. Nothing's in the way, so. Do you want the bags first? I was just thinking if we've got any left over, we've taken the bags before the bags back up. Say again, sorry. Need the bags still last. Yeah. Because we'll have to bag it anyway. Wouldn't it be just, wouldn't it be best to bucket it instead of bagging it? Oh yeah. Okay, bring it in. Just get a bit of weight out of the van then. Put that by the time, that's now weight. You're going to film a bit, have you? Right. You're going to film a bit? Nah.
right. <laughs> Bit of an update. Now, we were just going to follow, just point to that course that Matt Allen's in the um, underneath the door set. Our plan was to follow this course, our plan was to follow that course, and then thinking there's a door frame, door going back in. Um, I think originally it's going to be UPVZ door. So it didn't matter about the, the floor levels, but the customer's adamant that the um, the floor level is to come through level, and they just want a normal door between the porch and here, like uh, to match the doors in the house. So there can't be a threshold that's got to come level through with whatever floor cover they're putting down. So that's raised everything up. So if you just see that pencil mark there, that's actually <coughs> 65 mil above our DPC. So the only thing we can do is add another course of brickwork on, otherwise the floor will come higher than the back of the door frame. So we're raising everything up. So we've got an extra course of brick to go around here. And we're gonna have step DPC, we're gonna have one here on this course, on the new course, and then we're gonna have one here, and then the damp course is gonna go down onto the wall. Um, we're raising it up one, but as you can see the little levels don't line up so because we're coming up one the porch is going to line up with the windows anyway it's all weird levels on this so we've managed just just got enough stuff to get it prepped we need another sheet of 25 mil jab light to get it prepped because we're doing 125 underneath we've got sheet, two sheets of 100 and two sheets of 25 which is i'm not sure no, we've got two sheets of 100 and one sheet of 25, haven't we? Yeah. Because we need the cold bridging strip, we're going to run out of 25, so we're going to pick another one of them up. We're out of building sand now, because we use that for the blinding. But we've got some of that at home. And everything else is here. So, yeah, that's the plan. We're raising up, of course, but the steps going in anyway. We're just going to have to put two steps in now, rather than one. <coughs> so, um, yeah, we'll leave it there for now and we'll get back to you when we're prepping it. This could be a good thumbnail, yeah? Yeah? But as you can see, this is all the kerfuffle we've had to get up to with this one. So, there's your 100ml here, yeah? and there it is with the 25 on top. So, we're all out of 25, because that's been used for the uh, cold bridging too. So, that's going to do a supply run, as, uh, as, as usual. <laughs> but um, after that, the Insulation will be done, then it's just the visqueen, and we can finally get some concrete done. Yeah, we need to get the timber up to here, then we can get the concrete in after that visqueen, so... We're getting, we're getting somewhere at least. It looks like a few progress. But, yep, yeah, that is where we're at. So, I'll probably, uh, probably see us when Dad's back with the insulation. Right, after a lot of faffing, as you can see, it doesn't look pretty, but it does the job. That's just we've just cut 25 mil strips off the end of the 100 mil, saved buying a full sheet just for that. Let's play the game of insulation Tetris. Yeah, 
two under this piece. This has got the 25 mil under this 100. So we've got the 100 in first there, and we've just topped it off with strips of 25. Like I say, it's not pretty, but it doesn't. It's, there's 125 mil insulation under there now. 25 mil cord bridging strip, which as you can see is too high. So we need to shutter that now to tamp off. And um, yeah, put, put the cord bridging strip right into the porch and into the. That runs flush because that's where the walls run off. That steps back because that's where the door is. The frame, door, 200mm frame, then the doorway, and then the brickwork finishes there. So now we're going to get the top brick screen in, ready for concrete. Pretty sure we're going to run out of concrete now because we use a lot of hard coal underneath. Yeah. But we're going to see how far we get, and then I'll know how much to get back from fields. So um, catch you in a bit and we'll get this stuff in. As you can tell by me wearing a jacket, it's not good news. Uh, as we were getting ready to have our lunch, the rain's come. So, I've got to try and move all this stone. I think my dad's going to help me. We're going to move this stone out of the air, out the path of the rain, and into here, under the, this. So, we're going to get that done, then, Get and this. Off and then carry on. Yeah, let's get this concrete because this is ready now. We need to move them bricks as well, Dad. Yeah. Them ones that are just getting wet. But yeah, so uh, again, <laughs> that's, that's all I really have to say. Move some stone. Get let's get it in the uh, mixer. Get some cement in. Well, I'm alright under here, but Alex isn't. He's getting the stone in as quick as he can. It's there then for mixing, but I've just uh, got the mud tool in here. Took the step down to the original floorboards. Now I can level off that. Um, not bothering with the timber. That's dripping, isn't it? Yeah. Not bothering with the timber on the other. Just, just put the bricks up against the post down. I'm just going to tamp it, get it with the level. Instead of trying to tamp it with the, with the tamp. Um, so yeah, just take the time to get that right with the uh, new walking concrete level. And maybe the six footer. But yeah, Boom. how much left do you think, mate? Is it enough to drag yet? No. Once it's, once it's draggable, let me name the drag it too. Yeah. Right, so we'll um, start getting this slabbing. It's all gone south again as usual. There you go, we've run out of stone. We probably use that much building up this slab because that's coming up an extra course to level off the house. So it's doing it today, going back getting small bags and pay a fortune. We'll go back to those buttons and get half a ton. I expect we could get half a ton so just after three o'clock, so it's going to be another late one, but it is what it is. Look at that slab, it looks a lot thicker than 100 mil, so it's, um, it's a hell of a slab. We've got, we've got a foot of hardcore, 125 insulation, and probably 120 shot. 
、ロケラスで押しとす。うん。中央に言えば。No words. No words, just. That, that side is, is enough. That uh, did not go as planned. <laughs> In the sense that we seriously underestimated how much this would take. We, um. Obviously well, the floor was raised. Yeah. But not, I mean, that's not the whole. Yeah, and we raised the floor and it still took all that concrete. Yeah. Well, we used a lot of our ballast. Yeah, we did. But um, after, it's just gone five o'clock, and we've got it, we've got it in finally. We're just having a bit of a clean up now, and with the we did a bit of extra mixing to get that in for the step. So we're all set for Wednesday because tomorrow we're doing another job. Well, it's gonna be nice. So yeah, that is a very very big slab done. <laughs> It's not actually big, is it? It's just deep. It's just monstrous. Well, that is the end of it, and that'll be the end of this video. So, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a thumbs up, because that is greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more, if you want to see the rest of this, if you want to see more from us, or just if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and to tap that bell. That way you'll be notified when we upload next. And again, it's always a massive help for the channel. We greatly appreciate all the support that we get off you guys. So this has been Brickling with Steve and Alex with a, a wet, deep-ass footing, slab, whatever. And we'll see you in the next one.